Hello friends, in this video we're going to look at this Sony AV receiver. This is model STRDE485. This is a multi-channel AV receiver that includes a surround sound decoder, which is kind of the primary feature of an AV receiver. I got this at a thrift store for $29.98 with a 25% discount. This one I believe is out of date. I've been finding a lot of different AV receivers in thrift stores lately and I think basically the issue is that they're obsolete in some way or another. All the ones that I've tested so far have worked perfectly and this is another one in the line. I haven't uh, turned this on yet or done anything with it. So next I'm going to plug it in and kind of do the smoke test. So let's do a quick smoke check on this. I'm going to turn it on. Or I'm going to turn on the power. Settings to watts, 0.4 watts. That makes sense with some sort of standby power that it has. Uh, these things always need some amount of power continuously in order to allow you to turn them on with a remote control. So we're going to hit the power button. We have lights that come to life. I'll just twiddle a few knobs here. Volume. Tuning. So per my experience this one seems to be nominally working. Next I'll hook up some inputs to it and speakers and we'll see if it produces any sound. This would have supported three composite video devices. We've got one input here, here, and here, and one output here, uh, and a kind of a second monitor output. We've also got surround sound speakers for the left, right, and center channel. So we can tell from the connections that this is a 5.1 channel device, meaning it has um, two left, two right, for front and rear, and then also center. And it may have a special subwoofer output. Have to look for that. Yeah, here it is, subwoofer output. So based on the features, I haven't looked it up, but my guess is that the vintage of this is about the year 2000 or so. It's similar to a JVC receiver that I have that's from about that era. So this predates uh, some of the digital video standards like HDMI and even uh, S-Video, which is kind of an intermediate form that only lasted a few years and never really took off. Got some royalty free music hooked up here. It's supposed to be valid for YouTube. We'll turn it on. I happen to be on FM settings, so I'll drive up and find the next FM station. Okay, so FM is working fine. Seek function. That buzz was kind of normal. Sometimes it finds a signal that's in between stations. So let's go to AM mode since I've got that handy. We'll go up to 610 is a station in this area. Okay, now let's try to move over to our... Uh, these are your options for device. I have my phone hooked up to the CD player. I need to turn it up a little bit. 
speaker, another speaker. So that's sounding good. This one has fairly simple controls and simple display compared to others that I've seen. But you can see the uh, kind of basic features that we have here. Preset tunings, I haven't set those yet because I just turn it on. Uh, seek tuning, there's some sort of menu here. We'll try that in a second. Different options on sound control. Um, this probably relates to surround sound primarily and surround sound decoder treble and bass let's try to boost the bass a little bit just to see what's happening there oh okay we ran into a limit there let's cut the treble can't really tell much difference but they only give me a option of plus or minus 6 db so that's not really very much in the scale how much you'll need and help you Scale of things. Looks like I need to turn my volume up on my phone. So that's pretty good. Let's. Go on, mix it up a little. Get two medium, two topping pizza. Oh, we're still on AM or something. Okay. Okay, let's try the menu. Oh, I guess I thought I could push in the center for menu, but it probably have to do a mode and then have a menu so this type of thing usually is some sort of surround simulation effect that you can apply to a stereo signal that says hall jazz concert game normal surround CSTX whatever that is ABC back to that so we've got some options here that I'm not really ready to explore without having a full set of speakers on here but that shows every indication of working haven't tried every single feature $29.98 with a I believe I got a 25% discount on this so uh, I think we got a winner. So we'll stop there. And thanks for watching.